hello everyone. Hello, Lopan45, you were first. Tony Gamer, hello. X the Wolf, you were third. Not first. Hello, Kuda. Real Minecrafter, good to see you. David Morley. Sam Hecker, Mr. Partisan, Occasional Art. Delta Fuchs. QQ557702. <laughs> what? What are these names? Hey, Virtual Doodle, it's going good. It's going good. So, uh, a lot of you really liked, I mean, I don't know if it's you guys specifically, but a lot of people really liked uh, uh, the first video where I checked out Main Assembly. Uh, we're gonna check out, we're gonna check out part four of the tutorial uh, real quick. Just the programming basics, just so that I know what I'm actually doing when I'm, uh, audio voice is quiet. Like my mic audio. I can just shove my face into my microphone and talk into it. Is that better? Is, is this is this loud enough for you? <laughs> Hi, surf. Stop ignoring me. Hi, surf. Out of out of the three messages that you sent so far, you've misspelled my name twice, and you expect me to stop ignoring you? Well, congratulations. It worked. <laughs> A left playing. Okay. Anyway, so yeah, I wanna I wanna figure out like what I'm actually doing. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Uh, let me let me figure out this mic thing first. Actually, let's go back, because then I can just uh, let me just turn this down a little bit. Down a little bit more, and then you guys can fiddle around with your audio. So, as long as the game audio is not like overpowering my voice, then. Uh, now someone saying way too loud, Mike. Well, okay, you guys got to be clear with me. Wh which is it? Is it too loud or too quiet? I don't know. Point is though, I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish the programming basics so I just know what I'm doing, and then we're gonna hop into the sandbox mode, uh, so that we can actually just build whatever we want. I had a lot of questions like, um, you know, is there actual like aerodynamics and stuff? Like, does the does the shape of what you build actually matter in the game? And uh, we're definitely going to figure that one out, but uh, later. I want to finish the tutorial, Programming Basics. I also, like, already forgot everything from the previous tutorials, but... Hey, you know, it's a brand new game, we're getting into it, so... An introduction to programming, we will start by connecting inputs and outputs with wires. Alright, let's do it. Welcome back. Now we will dive a bit deeper into what you can do with your robots. Let's oh my god, my FPS is that you can do within your hurting a little station. bit. There are endless possibilities, but now, I will just guide you through the very basics. So, first off, as per usual, enter a simply mode, and then print the robot. Oh, how do I do that again? D? There we go. So just print my robot and then program it? Uh, how do I print again? Enter? Try to drive it. Doesn't work, does it? No. Let's go back to assembly mode and figure out why. Oh, well, the steering works. Whenever you have a robot with a docking station on it, you can access its programming interface. The brain of your robot. Enter programming mode by pressing P or select it from the radial menu. How do I get the radial menu out? I don't know how to get the radial menu out. Give me a minute and let me explain what you are looking at here. Here you can see Which by the way, I really appreciate this game has a tutorial sequence. The workspace is the grid Not everybody, you, place your you know, likes it, notes. but um and the list on the left an idiot like me definitely appreciates it. different kind of programming nodes that you can use. Right now all the nodes that this robot needs to drive are already placed in your workspace, but all the logic is not hooked up. You can see the wire connecting one of Holy the input moly. nodes to the steering node. But it looks like the other input node is not wired to the power of the motor. This is why you could not move forward or backwards. But don't worry, this is really easy to fix. On the right side of this node, there is a small dot. This is a chip pin that is used to attach <laughs> wires. Okay, it's, a, it's a over explaining it just a little bit. And voila. The input node will now send signals to your motor and give it power. But that now might be a good thing, because everybody's like on a different level, right? 
then right click to exit. So no, I'm actually like really curious about more of this. Like I can add as many inputs as I want, right? Just drag. No way. G. Oh wait. G. H. Okay. So then what's what's this other space? That must be for uh, that must be for gamepad controls, right? Let's try uh, the B button. Yeah, there it is. Okay, cool. So you can map inputs to like literally anything you want. That's super cool. How do I get rid of this now? Do I just drag it off? Cool, <laughs> cool. Oh, this is actually like incredibly easy and intu uh, intuitive. Power steer. So then. My God, <laughs> we're gonna be able to build such incredible things. Anyway, sorry, I was not uh, looking at chat for a while there. Hi, Durf, hi, did you saw that Trail Makers is fully released? So I think you can try that game too. Maybe, I have it. So that's actually pretty straightforward then to... Um... Wow, looks like it's working. Cool. It's very different right. from Scrap Mechanics, like, connection again, and I system to the whole thing. Example. Also, I guess you don't have to worry about, um, like, a, a tick delay between parts. So when you're programming your robot, everything right. just happens instantly, I guess. Like, there's no, there's no delay and try out this between individual parts. All right, what am I doing? The same thing. Can you figure out what's wrong? Yeah, not the best at turning, is it? Well, I am very sure that you can fix that. Hop back to assembly mode and bring up the programming interface again, just like you did before. Have a look at the nodes here. Yeah, Looks like okay. We have inputs All right, I, I, I figured now out this much. we just have to connect the two nodes, just as we did before. Drag a wire from the up now. Select that node. Its properties should show on the left. There are some properties that we can change here to make it do what you want. One input box for positive input, which would be steer right, and one for negative input, steering left in this case. Oh. Interact with the box. Whoops. Bravo. Now, sweet. Looks stellar. Back out of programming and then print this bot and see how it drives now. Smooth. Park this piece to continue when you are ready. Huh. Okay. So yeah, the tutorial, I mean, I don't know, the tutorial really holds your hand. Uh, which I can see some people getting frustrated at, but at the same time, I appreciate it very much. You know, it's better to make sure that you're not going to make mistakes than to Repetition make time. mistakes and have to learn Yay. from them later same on. Deal as always. Enter assembly mode. You don't have to test drive this robot. I know it's not. Darn okay. It. The sloppy person. So then I just have to set this up entirely myself. Ignored cool. to program this thing. Lucky for us that you know how to do this now. Let's see if you can figure this out. You will need to find the power and steering node for the motor. And then two input nodes to map the keys you want to use to drive this thing. Wait, what's the difference between And don't between forget these? to connect them with some wires. Good luck. When you feel ready, you just back out to assembly mode again and then print it and go for a spin. Oh, cool. It actually returns the, the current power. Oh, that is cool. Controls the braking. So you can have brakes without having to reverse power. That's also really cool. So then I, I don't actually know what the difference between uh, alpha and beta is. So let's just use beta, I guess. Huh. All right. So 
So that should be it, right? Easy peasy. Hey, oh, Ultra Gaming. Yes. Programmer Ace. Impressive. Sorry you disappeared this for so long. Don't, don't be sorry right about now. that, man. You should know enough now to build your own You're also supposed to keep scratch. off the grass. It's a build good thing it's not implemented yet, because I failed that and definitely. Quick with the programming. I am going into sleep mode now, but park it and I will unload the simulation for you and bring you back to the facility. I will make sure to find you and I think that you are ready for more. Hey, go. All right, well, that was it. That was it. Let's uh, let's go explore this map a little bit. Drive into the water, see what happens. Wee! Yeah! Oh. 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 <laughs> okay. Hey, there's grass underwater. Cool. Uh, uh-huh. Oh, hey, I found the cube. The cube. The dev cube. With a light source under here, apparently. Anyway, let's get out of here. We'll go, <laughs> let's go into sandbox. I get distracted way too easily. So now we can actually finally uh, start experimenting. Alright, cool. It loaded something for me to build off of. The last thing that... Uh... Oh, E is the radial, radial menu. E? I'm pressing E. Is it... Oh, it has to be on something. Okay. Um... Uh-oh. How do I get rid of it? Escape? Okay. <laughs> is beta, what do you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is uh, this is before early access. So uh, anything that you see breaking, don't, uh, don't think that it's going to stay there. Alright, so the spotlights. I can clone it. I don't want to clone it. If I select it and hit uh, delete... Huh. I deleted something. I don't know what I deleted earlier, but... I'm still just figuring this out, really. Alright, so, I guess... What, what, what do I want to build first, really? How... Wait, 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 wait. How do I curve stuff? That's something that I actually haven't done yet. I know you can extrude... Oh, I, okay, I have mirror mode on, but I know you can extrude with control. Is there another hotkey? Can I... <laughs> Is there a menu that shows me my... Ah! How do you curve stuff? Does anybody know? Build a plane. Yeah, I'll probably... Uh, I have... Um, yeah, I have access to all the parts now this time, right? Weapons. Hammerhead... Lawn blade. Cockpit. Huh. Ooh, a magnet. Forklift. Plow. can be programmed to do anything within reason. Turing Oracle not included. Okay. A simple attachment point between parts of frames. I don't know what that means. Friction pad. For ultimate surface grip. Okay. Hinge with a built-in motor, piston, servo. Hmm. A motor with a min... Oops, I didn't mean to actually click it. 
It's control for curves, you say, right? Well, we'll see about that. No, that's that's extrude. Or just moving it around. How do I... Oh, oh right. I have control Z I can undo. It's alt? Well, what do you know? It's alt. <laughs> So then wait, how, how do these... Okay, there's something I actually have to test here. There's something that I actually have to test. Um, get rid of you. Wow, okay, don't select, don't select a node, a point, and just delete, because it deletes a, a heck of a lot more than I wanted it to. But you know what? That's okay. That's okay. I want... Actually, just do this. I want to do... Uh, I, I want to test something. <laughs> okay, we'll test it this way. All right, so what I want to test is how, how does this game uh, deal with asymmetrical geometry? And for that, so what I mean by that is, like, this is a square. It has four points, right? If I raise two, two points, two corners, can I select multiple corners like this? Oh, I, I can if I hold shift, but I have to actually click properly. There we go. All right, so if I select two corners like this, and I just sort of move them up, there we go. Uh, so in 3D modeling, this is a, a big no-no because the 3D modeling software has no idea whether to put an edge between these two points down here, making it a divot, or put an edge between these two points up here, making it like a ridge. So that's asymmetrical geometry, and I guess the game just handles it perfectly fine, pretending like it's um. Like a like a like a sheet of spandex or something stretched between there. Yeah, no problems here whatsoever. Huh. <laughs> okay. Alright, I'm getting very distracted with the wrong things now. Also, uh, sandbox mode has no music, so let me go put some music on. Alright. So yeah, that was actually really cool. I didn't, uh, I didn't realize this game... This game's much better than I thought it was gonna be. And I already thought it was gonna be great. So then what happens if I extrude this? Wait, what? Why is it going that way? Huh. Does it just use the... Uh... No, okay. That's weird. Why would it go that way? Okay, so it must have calculated the uh, surface... The, the surface normal of this surface isn't normal. <laughs> so, so, yeah, I don't know what... Um... I don't know what it's doing for the direction that it's trying to ex extrude in. So then what happens if I select, um, sorry, uh, you know, we'll actually get to building some actual stuff in a bit. I'm just uh, trying to break the game as always. Okay, so what happens then if we sort of like invert? Invert this and then try to extrude just goes the other direction huh all right I'm not really understanding more of what I just did but Durf the music is a little loud is it still a little bit loud turn it down even more I don't know I hope that's uh, good enough Durf you're gonna make the creators pissed uh, I mean if I didn't already <laughs> if I did I, you know, 
They gave me the game uh, with like after an hour of playing it, I broke it in like three or four different ways already. So it's just it, it just happens. And I did nothing against the developers whatsoever. As a matter of fact, you know this this is probably one of my favorite games right out of the box. All right, let's just get rid of this. Get get rid of all of this. What? <laughs> what? I did not. Did not try to delete that much. All right. So now we're going to turn this thing into a plane. I don't know how exactly, but if you're wondering why, why we're going to turn this, you know, okay, you know what? No, 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 no. We don't, we don't have to turn this into a plane. Yeah, we already have a, 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 a nicely programmed bot, but all right, all right. Plastic plate. Aluminum plate. Carbon fiber plate. Steel plate. What is the difference? Wait, what? I can place on wheels? Oh my god, there's so many things that I want to test now. So then, does, does this, like, define the material that I start with? Hold on, hold on. It's, um, I can't, like, click and drag to select, can I, I can't control A to select all, I also just ruined my, my car here, but that's okay. I'm actually just gonna delete everything. Literally everything. All right, so is this how the, is, this is how you start then, right? Yeah, this is how you start your robot. So this is plastic. What's the difference? Oops. Steel would probably be the heaviest. And it's got a different, oh. Ooh. Shiny. The weight? Oh yeah, I was not paying attention to the weight at all. <laughs> Does it actually say the weight? Oh my god, I keep on pressing escape instead of tab. It doesn't say the weight. That's kind of unfortunate. I, I would kind of like it to say the weight before I use it, you know? But I get like, it'll say the weight of my build. Alright, so then I, I'm, I'm just gonna guess that plastic is the lightest weight material, right? So let's start with plastic then, if I'm going to eventually build a plane. So let's uh, start with like a little bit of a cube. And then from there... Hmm. From there... Wait. Did the, t uh, did the tutorial say how to like cut or add a... Huh. Oh, you know what? There was actually something else I wanted to test too. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> the, are you holding on? <laughs> no, there was something else I wanted to test too. I, uh, I wanted to test the curves. Oh my god, how tiny is this grid? That, like, that doesn't look like it's the same. This side looks bigger than this side. A snap to grid would kind of, uh, kind of be useful, too. There probably is one already, but I just don't know it. All right. Is this what I want to do? I don't know if this is what I want to do. Basically, I want to have a frame with like 45 degree angles in it. 
and then I'm gonna try curving it to see if I can get a perfect circle. I was actually curious uh, the first time I curved something in this game. Oh no, see, look at that. That doesn't look right. It looks like it has to be in between these two spots. How does that work? No, that's the 45. What? That's 45 degrees, I think. I don't know, man. This grid thing is uh, is really confusing me. Derf, press E on the plastic and look at all the materials. Wait, what? Press E? What's going on? Wait a second, what aeroplastic plexiglass? Neon? What's even happening? <laughs> okay, well apparently you can uh, color it and change materials and how did I add oh wait, never mind. <laughs> okay. I'm I'm really, really getting confused now. Alright, so let's try curving then all this stuff. I guess like you only needed I mean would that would that form a perfect circle? I don't know, I don't think so. Let me just delete that. Okay, this is all a mistake. Alright, alright. Let's let's undo. We're gonna go all the way back to just a cube. Oh gosh, what's happening there? Yeah, this doesn't quite this doesn't quite make a circle. So how many segments then do I need to make a quote unquote perfect circle? Well that's why that's why I built this thing earlier. Except I did it in the wrong way or something. I don't know. I don't know why I'm so focused on this. I'm trying to make a... Yeah, try to make a sphere. But how do I... I'm trying to make a circle, first of all, so I know how many segments uh, to do. Let's try moving this... Um, No, no, no. This has to be... This entire thing is too small. That's the problem. All right, all right. We're going to we're going to make this nice and big. I got to say though, the freeform building, oh wait. <laughs> Freeform building is uh, super convenient and easy to use. Uh oh. Oh, control the the fact that you can do control Z is amazing. There we go. Okay, so now I need to move this corner that's like approximately Oh, it has to be like in between these Why? Why does this game do this to me? Can I like hold control alt? No, I can't do anything to make it not snap to grid. All right, we'll try we'll try over there then.
Uh, it just seems like it's too... F well, I don't know. Maybe it's not too far out. We'll see. No, there's no, there's no way that I can curve this reasonably. I'm just trying to make a circle. I'm sorry. Uh, Lego Freak. You want this game? Yeah, I want this game too. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is like frustrating. It's always the point in between the two points that I can put it at. Yeah, so, okay. I think my problem is that I'm trying to use an even number of segments, I guess. So, like, I'm splitting this, I'm splitting a circle into four or into eight when I need to split it into twelve. Ah, oh, that's, a uh, that's a pain in the butt. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure out, you know what, actually, there's, um, catalog, bots, there's existing stuff in here. Wait a second, wait a second. Autosave? What happened to the, uh, there used to be a bunch of, um, there used to be a bunch of bots in here, like a bunch of test stuff. Is it not available in Sandbox? I'm actually wondering about that now, because I could go into the tutorial, into any of these pretty much. So, okay, build menu, go into the tab. Yeah, they must have like removed all of these like uh, blueprints or something. Autosave is there because this was the last bot that I loaded, I think. Oh, is it not? It isn't, is it not gonna load it now? Wait, what? This is my car without headlights that I just played as. Something might be wrong with the uh, loading, loading bots. Load. Loaded, not loaded. Huh. I wonder if something happened, because like that was supposed to that that was working last time I played this too. I was able to load in the spider bot in the tutorial level, which I wasn't supposed to do that, but at least loading worked. Well that kinda sucks, cause now we can't actually load in anything. But at the same time it's also kind of good. Cause now it forces me to build. <laughs> which I was avoiding this whole time. Uh, okay, so then let's see. What are these? Small motors? I guess, like, that's... That's what I have to use, right? Small motors? Let's, um... Let's actually build a plane. We're gonna get this just over our wheels. Uh, extrude it some more. And I think we're also extrude out this way. Can I delete this? Perfect. No, that's not what I wanted. You know what? That's fine. 
just, just... What the heck? Why won't you attach? It's the weirdest thing. Okay. Good enough. Uh, I'm just trying to close this up, but I guess, like, the way that I did it must have been off-grid or something. Something weird. Yeah, see, that snaps in place. Let's just close this up. Oh, wait. How do I turn off mirror mode? How turn off mirror mode? Maybe if I just do this. That's on an axis that's not going to get uh, mirrored, so that's good for me. And then I can just <laughs> take the... Come on. There we go. Just take it and move it into place. Cool. Cool. Closed it up. There is my wing. I mean, that's not a wing. You're going to see it's a wing soon. Whoops. All right. Now let's go and I mean I hope that's <laughs> I hope that's going to be wing enough to fly. Uh but let's go in the back here. We're going to add ourselves sort of like a little tail fin area. And then we're going to put rocket boosters on the bottom. And uh just see if it flies. I have no idea how to make things fly in this game, but Derf, to fix all the grid problems, try control and escape. Is that that's not a hot key to quit the game, is it? That's that just opened up my Windows menu. Are there actual simulated aerodynamics? Well, there supposedly are, but I don't. I haven't had a chance to properly test them. And as you can tell by my building ability in this game, uh, it's not. I haven't had a good ability to test them. I haven't had a good chance to test them yet. But I am wondering, does this matter? Does does this does this wing shape matter? Oh, that is so cool if it does. We'll figure that out with time. Alright, this is gonna be my tail fin. And uh, I guess we can strap rockets to the underside of these in the hopes that it'll do what I hope it does. <laughs> My god. Jet engine. Um, actually, yeah, let's just strap them straight to the sides. Do they even fit? Sort of. Wait, there's a reverse on jet power? No, there shouldn't be a reverse on jet power. We'll just use space bar. Or... Well, I guess we could use anything, right? Let's see what happens um, if we press V. What happens? All right, print this. Get in it. So we can drive around, clearly. 
Yeah, V does nothing. There's no there's no reverse for a jet engine. All right, we're going fast. We're not really going up or anywhere. Hmm. Does this count as flying? Holy moly, we're going very fast though. And I'm not really able to pop myself up. Let's see. Hmm. All right. I think, uh, I think let's... Uh-oh. Is that supposed to happen? Oh, okay. Okay, weird. It didn't, it just didn't uh, remove the, like, the visual model of whatever. Anyway. I guess let's try putting the rockets... Or maybe the wings themselves. I have to, a lot to try in this game still. So let's delete this. Let's, uh, let's... Delete all this. Oh my god. I don't know how I how I messed this part up. Let's just delete all this. All right. So what I want to try doing uh, I want to add like Oh my gosh. I'm always in the wrong position. There we go. Okay, I want to add a big old section right here because right there I'm going to add um, 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 things to turn. Turn, turn, rotate. Rotate? I, do I have... Yeah, this is the one. Servo. I mean, I guess that's going to work. So then, uh, I hope I can attach a panel to that. There it is. Okay, let's make that nice and wide. Uh, maybe a little bit shorter. Cool. And then, um, make it this way as well. Hey, Jorit200 with the two euro super chat. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah, dot, dot. I don't know. Oh, there's, I, I'm not paying attention to chat. I'm sorry. Thank you for reminding me, Jorit. Um, Jorif, do a big brain move. Open, bind. I, I lost the chat message. Open bindings to see all the bindings. How do I do that? Try making the shape of the wing surface like a real plane. Yeah. Also try adding control surfaces with servo mode. Yeah, that's currently what I'm doing. Add a stabilizer wing in the back. Turn up my mic. You want... You, I seriously have to turn up my mic still? Uh, how about no? In options. Yeah, dude. What do you think? What do you, what do you think? What do you think I'm trying to do here? Options isn't selectable. Make your wheelbase longer in front. I mean, okay, we, we all know this is a shitty plane, all right? Relax, guys. What? That is not at all what I did. <laughs> that is not at all what I did. 
Why does it do that? Am I somehow... Like, can I only edit this side? What? It must be because the, like, attachment point is... Yeah, it just keeps on trying to center itself. That's weird. That is weird. Huh. Well, whoops. All right, so I'm not allowed to make a, a two-dimensional surface. That's a shame. All right, we're just gonna make a we're gonna make a boxy-looking wing. Whatever, it doesn't matter. <laughs> All right. Uh, and then we'll strap on the uh, the thrusters on the ends of those wings. Um, yeah, and then we'll do the uh, the servo motors. We'll just map those to WS. Where is it? It's in motors, right? Yeah, motors. Try to get it as centered <laughs> as possible. All right. Uh, pro, 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 programming? How do I get programming? There we go. Part deleted. There we go. Um, turn two. Angular speed 45, sure. Sure. Let's hope that works. Um, we need one for the jet engine. Can I make this? Hmm. One thing that I would like to see in this is maybe if I could just hit spacebar to toggle the jet engine power instead of having to hold it down. I, I'm not seeing an option for that, and I, I don't know if there's a way to actually do that. Advanced mode, maybe? Oh, boy. Well, there's definitely a, a lot of logic I, I could create the toggle ability, but having a little checkbox for simple simple brains would probably be uh, an easier way to go about it. Alright. So let's uh, let's go ahead and get in then. Alright, so we got uh... Oh, cool. It, I don't have to invert my pitch either. So then let's just point this up and uh... Alright, we gotta hold space. <laughs> um... All right, good plane, good plane, Durf. Good plane. Toggle was understate, was it? I, it shows you how much I don't pay attention at all. Oh, it was under advanced, was it? Okay, so I'm guessing then I could just do, um, can I, can I, can I disconnect please? Oh, there we go. It just did it automatically. Perfect. Okay. 
It's the first time I used the advanced mode, but it was pretty pretty straightforward. All right, so then just tap, yeah, tap spacebar, and it's good to go. <laughs> I don't, I, I mean, I don't know if, uh, if there's aerodyne. It seems like there is. I don't know if my plane would be flipping like this if there wasn't aerodynamics. Hold on. Hold on. I lost the thruster. Um, backspace. There we go. It's to respawn. Right? Or it's to crash my game. Okay. <laughs> Apparently backspace is to crash my game. Or not completely. I can enter build mode. Okay, there we go. Retry. Cool. We're sort of back in business. How do I save? There it is. Save. Wait. New bot. Plane 01. <clears throat> Create. That's plane 01. All right. No! No! <laughs> no, wait, what did I do? Uh-oh. I apparently don't know how to save things. Okay, I, I, I saved it as T-Spider. Weird. Print. There we go, we're back in business. All right. Oh, hey, Bad Yoke Games. You made it. Yeah, backspace currently breaks in sandbox. Oh, I. <laughs> well, I. Now I know. All right, so I actually have no idea if uh, if like aerodynamics is actually a thing, with just panels. I'm trying to make it a thing. But maybe my plane just isn't good enough, and I have to spend actual effort in you know designing. But hey, I got the toggle working just fine. Why are my wheels still spinning? Are they still... Oh, oh, you, that's actually something else I wanted to test, too. What happens when you put wheels... This is going to get rid of my steering. But what happens when you put wheels on... Um, like, directly on your thing like this? Do they still spin? I don't think so, right? Like, they're just attached to it on the side. Yep, they don't roll. So then, is there a way to just get, like, a loose... Loose rotation? I suppose a servo could... Hmm. Oh, this is a motor. Anti-spin steering suspension. Okay. So this is this is just like a motorized bearing then. For those that have a scrap mechanic brain like I do. just slap one of these on there and then you can uh, slap your wheels on those perfect all right so then if we go wait can I not hit P to P for programming oh there it is
I still don't know the difference between the alpha and beta. I'm gonna assume that they're the same thing, just different, different iterations, different versions that the developers. Oh, hey, thank you, Jorah two hundred, for the five euro super chat. Hate to bring it to you, but there is a reason you never see an airplane with square rings in the air. Yeah, I, yeah, I know. So, like the main, the main question that I have with aerodynamics is, can like, can I can I build a plane with square wings like that? Like, does I just want to know, does the the panels actually have aerodynamics, physics, or maybe not yet? I don't know. I like it could just be that my plane design is actually just very bad. Uh, let's get rid of this. So if I just put nothing then on the motors, do the motors act like loose uh, bearings? They do. Okay, cool. That's actually very convenient. I like that. But yeah, so, okay, I have this. If I, I, ha I have this plane, it's not very good. We all know that already. That's what, this is what happens if I turn it on, right? So then if I just try to pitch up all of a sudden, it just points the nose down because I guess it's a bad plane design. So if I pitch, if I try to pitch down, it ends up doing these forward somersaults. Which again, I'm not exactly sure if that's just a result of you know where my thrust is relative to like my my center of mass. So I'm not actually sure. Hey Soulfire, good evening. Goop de boop whoop. The panels do indeed have aerodynamics. You'll probably need to make actual wings. Ah, uh, I mean, I mean, if I could avoid having to try, <laughs> then then I would place weight in the back. I don't know. I okay. Well, okay. What happened? Bad yoke games. Bad yoke games. The front face, the front facing flat ones. Oh, these. Uh, so you're saying then I just have to make them pointier? Like if I do this, is it gonna work all of a sudden? Oh my gosh. There we go. I'm giving it a nice uh, bulbous front <laughs> in the hopes that that helps the aerodynamicness of it. I don't know. Smaller wheels in the back, you say? You guys are saying a lot of things. I, I have no idea if any of it's right. Hmm. We've made a good snowplow or shovel. All right, all right. Hey, this is slight progress. <laughs> oh my. Durf, make the plane longer and put the thrusters lower down. All right. Durf, you should really try to put the thrusters below the wings. Okay, wh guys, what I'm trying to avoid building is like a scrap mechanic flying creation because you can fit like a, as many thrusters as you want on this and make it fly like I can just I can put a square down a cube down with four thrusters on the sides put a seat on top and it'll fly what I'm looking for is actual aerodynamics I guess so I want to get it the next step is to make sure your body weighs more than the wings I guess so is there is there an actual like weight block? Can I just add weight? I guess I have to do this, right? 
I can't attach a panel to a panel though, which is kind of kind of very inconvenient. But if I do if I just do this, that adds weight to the bottom, right? <laughs> Does that work? Standard, medium, weight. Mass five kilograms. Is that the panel? No, the ma the panel is zero kilograms right now. What? I can't. Hold on, hold on. I'm having trouble extruding this. Okay, now it's 0 0.4 kilograms of steel. Also, uh, Jorat with another 5 euro super chat. In real physics, the front of a wing should be round and the back wedge like. But I don't know if that works here. Yeah, so I tried to do that. Uh, maybe I can try to do it here. I don't know. I tried to shrink my wing. Uh, Oh my god, what am I doing right now? I tried to shrink my wing into like uh, some two-dimensional shape, but it didn't really work. Like if I connect these two, all of a sudden that uh, that shape just disappears. See? Like this this surface here. I can't I can't have just a two-line wing shape chassis it has to be three sides it has to be a triangle so something like this i guess something like that for a wing shape like the profile of a wing i don't know which i guess i can already do right because i have the There we go. I have uh, I have the, uh, the the polygons. The the oh my god! What am I even trying to say? My English is not working. I hope this works and doesn't just detach my wing. Oh, it flipped it. It flipped it around. Why does that happen? It flipped my wing around. Ah. Oh. Okay, that's a nice curve on the front. But see, like, I, I want it to go down to a point, right? But then if I do that on the inside, my wing just sort of flips around like that's so, that's not it's not what you're supposed to be doing and it has to do something with this like attachment point oh what is that what is that i did not know i could do this <laughs> i didn't know i could do that just scroll wheel rotate panels what happened to my thrusters <laughs> yeah see like there, it's if the attachment point is too small or something, I don't know. It ends up ruining things. Let's uh, let's try that again. Yeah, I guess. Oh, I guess I could attach it to the bottom, right? Somewhere like that. All right. And uh, we're good to go. Okay. 
Uh, I'm sorry. I, it's it's a long time that I don't look at chat when I'm like super focused. The material does affect weight and durability. Steel is tough. Aerogel is silly light and weak. Hmm. Durf, I'm not trying to be mean, but can you stop ignoring the chat because we're trying to help you? You're not being mean by saying that. Durf, instead of put walls, just put tubs on the cockpit zone. What the heck? No, I, I just, I have no idea. Okay, I think I'm, I might have to um, actually start from scratch, actually put effort into this. I kind of wish there was also like a click and drag to select. Like I could just click and drag to, to delete the entire back half of the vehicle. Well, that was a little bit too much. All right. Wait, does this not have panels or like it doesn't it doesn't seem to have edges that's kind of weird where do the edges go did i somehow remove all what like all the frames are gone i was kind of hoping to close this up See, that's weird. What happened to my frames? What? Uh, I mean, okay, whatever. I have my... What, what do I have exactly? I have, I have the start of a plane. Durf, tail wing equals pitch, main wing equals roll. All right, let's try that. As a matter of fact, let's just make these, let's make this my tail wing. No, no, let's just make this, th those will be my main wings. So then, uh, I, you know, I haven't built much planes even in Scrap Mechanic or Trail Makers or any other game. So planes are probably the like the, the most challenging thing. Uh, developers, I have a question. Oh, you do? Are they even here anymore? I don't know. I don't know if they're still chilling. Do the aerodynamics work? Well, that's <laughs> that's kind of what. You know. You know. Why don't we just build something? Hold on. Can I can I save this new bot? Um, plane, work in progress. Okay. That's not plain work in progress. But whatever. You know what we can figure out? We can figure out if the... Um, we can definitively figure out if the aerodynamics work or not. Simply by... Hold up. Simply by building something... Uh, building something to j just essentially fly straight. Oh my god, why do I... How do I manage to... Okay, 
Okay, there we go. There, it's all, it's all. How does this have holes in the top? Whatever. I'm, I'm <laughs> not dealing with it. Whatever. Uh, anyway, we're we're just gonna build something that flies straight up in the air with thrusters. Jeff, if you want uh, dev help, drag Mike into a Discord with you. Oh, you like you what? You want to play with me? Turning off mirror. Oh, Mike is already DMing me on. I don't pay attention to Discord in the middle of a live stream usually, so. Turning off mirror mode, one-way trip currently. Control shift M. Change grid snap sizes, number pad, one, two, three, four, five. Really? All right, well, I'm not gonna change off, uh, I'm not gonna turn off mirror mode because that's a one-way trip. But let's, uh, let's try moving this. All right, so if I'm moving this and I do one, oh my God, that is tiny, two. Three, four, five. Wow. Yeah, that was another question that I actually had. What was the tiniest scale that you could scale, I guess? And that's actually super useful to know now. So now you can uh, now you can define your curves in super small increments. Oh, that is very useful. Thank you for showing me that. Yeah, um, like I was saying earlier when I when I checked out the uh, programming tutorial, the, the, the tutorials like really hold your hand a little bit, and I can see why that's going to be frustrating for some players. But a player like me definitely appreciates them a lot to the point where I'd even ask for like an encyclopedia of things for me to look up, just like every function possible. I'd be in that encyclopedia nonstop. Other players might not be, but you know they're they're the type that's gonna make mistakes. Well, well, I'm the type that's gonna make mistakes too. But I don't know what I'm saying. I want an encyclopedia. That's what I'm saying. All right, that those side thrusters are very much not centered. I think that's centered. Oh, that's right. There's no uh, there's no mirror mode. Uh, front to back. There we go. Wait, wait, wait. Now I gotta make sure that they're aligned vertically. Come on. Ah, oh, the front one's too t front one's too high up. What happened to music? This song has like a minute of just dead air at the end of it. All right, I'm pretty sure that's all lined up. Uh, let's go. No, we don't need this. Alpha, beta, gamma? What's the difference? What are the differences between this? I don't know. There's no difference as far as I can tell. Let's use gamma. Because why not? Yeah, this is why this is why I need um This is why I need an encyclopedia. Jar, if you need to attach the thrusters to the body of the plane. Maybe. I mean, I I kind of uh, uh, ditched the plane idea now. Have you ever played Machine Craft? No. We are making the great codex. It will be glorious. Cool, cool. Jeff, hit spacebar in the empty space in programming shows your build in the background. Really? Oh. Oh. Hold on. 
Because that, that also has, like, additional context to it, too. So it'll show... Oh! Oh! Look at that. If you hover over stuff, it'll highlight in your build. Why isn't this just the default? Why do I... Wait, what do I have to press? Spacebar? Yeah, why do I have to press spacebar for that? Also, also, I think I broke it. <laughs> I think I broke it. It's not supposed to be doing... Or maybe my spacebar is broken. There's a chance there's, like, gunk underneath my spacebar and it was just stuck. Yeah, okay. I don't think it's broken. Okay, yeah. Not broken. I was just, uh... My spacebar was hitting itself when I wasn't, uh, when I wasn't looking. All right. Um, so then I think that's it, right? We have a thing that flies. Did I not? Wait, wait, why am I, <laughs> why am I not just going straight up in the air? Why did I start turning all crazily? Also, why, why, why wasn't it, um, why wasn't it all of my thrusters? It's just the two on the side? But I'm pretty sure it has something to do with my, um, you know, me being a, a brick trying to fly straight up. That That's why I'm flipping around. You only added half the jets, did I? How did I only add half of them? I don't understand. Is... Is this alpha, beta, gamma stuff? Is that a way to differentiate between all the different thrusters? So if I were to do this, alpha... Um... Alpha, beta, gamma... Oh. Yeah, I was wondering how how would you be able to set up different inputs for different thrusters and stuff like that. I was actually wondering that. Okay, when I first saw alpha beta gamma, I'm like, is there a difference between this? But Huh. Okay, so then thrusters that are automatically uh, mirrored I guess are just as uh, as one input. All right. So then that will power all of the thrusters. Yeah, and we're going super fast. Holy. <laughs> okay. Um. So I, I I didn't actually want to um, I didn't actually didn't actually want to be spinning around all crazily like that, but I guess I kind of don't have a choice anymore. Oh, no, that could be moved uh, one one more unit in. There we go. Perfect. All right. There's going to be my, uh, my aerodynamic cone. All right. I think we can also just do some of this. Beautiful. And just close that right up. There we go. 
Okay. Uh, does this capsule thing work? It's still... Okay, you know what? No, we gotta add fins. This is a rocket, right? We gotta add rocket fins. Holy moly, does it ever bounce, though? Are you trying to make a rocket now, Durf? Yeah, so, okay. I Because I failed with a plane so badly and embarrassingly, um, I just... I gotta... You know, I just gotta do what I can to... Hold on. <laughs> what, what am I... Uh, my brain no longer paying attention. I want to make this uh, rocket body round. That's what's currently going on in my brain. Okay, and then this entire thing. Um, I like how spacebar is to just like raise your altitude, but is, is there like a is there a button to lower your altitude? Oh, there we go. It's C, C for crouch. All right, so we're just gonna lower that. Um, a little bit. It doesn't really matter. Just so that all of this is attached at the bottom. Not that I... I'm not sure if I actually need to do this extra extrusion. Oh, come on. What's going on here? Some of these things didn't attach properly. <laughs> like, see this? Why is this... Why is this uh, higher up all of a sudden? But anyway, the idea then is we can just delete these. Uh... I hope. Hmm... How, okay, there must be a way for me to just like cut, you know, close this up. Sort of like that. So then, uh, how do I, how do I add a a a a, a point in a frame? I forgot how to do that. Jor at two hundred, with a two euro super chat. Thank you. You're you're going crazy today. Nah, planes are too difficult. Let's do rocket science. I know, right? No, I, I want this to just be one one surface that I can just extrude. I know there's a way for me to do that, but I f totally forget. Durf, you need center of mass above center of thrust. Durf, you just have to extrude from a point instead. Actually, you sort of helped me figure it out. Okay, can I delete these frames? Well, they don't they don't merge everything into one. Is it possible to have a panel? with more than four corners? It feels like it should be. I, okay, whatever. It doesn't matter anymore. I'm just gonna just extrude this thing down. It really doesn't matter. Except for this. Why, why is this so wrong? 
That is so wrong. Why is it very wrong? Basically, I'm just gonna... <laughs> this is so wrong. Alright, I think it's a flat bottom. Finally, now I can attach fins to the, the, the sides of this, right? Right? Hopefully. So, I'm gonna attach um, servos to the sides of this. These things. Wait, is it these things? No, it's not these things. It's, um... This guy. Alright, I'm gonna attach... You know, is there a way? Wait, wait. Can I not place a? Why can't? Why is it invisible there? Why is it invisible? I can't place it there. Okay. One thing that this game could probably use is like um, like a semi-transparent mode or something. To just sort of help me see where my servo on the other side is. Like if this was transparent so that I could see through, it would help me line it up a little bit easier. But anyway, now my plan is to put panels on this to make my um, aerodynamic fins. And then I could, like, tilt them to maybe control which which way my rocket spirals. Counterclockwise or clockwise. So, chassis. Plastic, right? One for you. One for you. One for you. Um, no, there's got to be a, okay, there's got to be a button to add a, a point, right? How do I make this a five-cornered thing instead of a four-corner thing? Like, I, I can just extrude this, I suppose, and then merge this, but then that's two panels. That's not, that's not a five, that's not one panel with five corners, that's two panels. Whatever. Um. Okay, I think that would make a, a decent fin, I guess. Rocket fin, I don't know. Sure, if you can do four or three, some smarter person than I can explain it better. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't think... Uh, okay, there's got to be a way for me to, like, duplicate panels, right? Is that a, is that a possibility? I don't think so. It is a possibility. Ah ha ha ha, yes! Wait, no, this is the wrong direction. <laughs> no! <laughs> Why do you do this to me? No, it's upside down. I want to place it the other way. No! I can't use my scroll wheel either to rotate it. Like, what's going on here? Wait, what? I placed it, and it's just right side up? What? <laughs> this, this makes no sense. Okay. It's fine. I mean... I didn't even extrude them yet. I'm not supposed to be duplicating them yet. Oh wait, 
what? Oh, come on. What are you even doing? All right, we're going with that for my rocket fin. Wait. What? <laughs> I don't even know what's going on anymore. <laughs> oh my God. All right, we're gonna copy this fin. Uh, hopefully, Gr yeah, that attached the correct way. Yep. Really? Really? Why do you gotta do this to me? Um, I like I have three of them here, right? Okay, maybe I have to duplicate this one, right? This is the one that's attached. Let's duplicate it from this panel that's attached. And that is most definitely trying to attach the wrong way. It most definitely attached the wrong way. So I have to I have to attach it from this surface is what you're saying. Got it. <laughs> Got it. Uh, okay, that that's gonna be problematic for players for sure. If they have to go inside their wing to select the inner surface just to clone it from. But whatever, I mean it worked for me, so. All right, we can finally enter programming here. Um, space. All yeah, all of these can just. Uh, all these can go with the same inputs. Um, actually, I guess this would be A and D, right? Forty-five degrees is probably a bit much, but you know it's fine. Or that's the angular speed. Does it stop at forty-five? I don't know if it does. I think I need one of them to be mirror mode. Pretty sure. I don't know. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. All right. So the question then. Oh, yeah. No, I, I need <laughs> I need one of them to be mirror mode. Uh, wait. That's not the one that I need to be mirror mode. I need um, this one. I hope. I hope that's it. I, otherwise, I just need like another input for, uh, yeah, just to actually reverse the A and D. I love how this actually gives you so much control, though. There we go. So one D, one A, for the second one. Uh, and now to hope that I got them all in the correct uh, direction. Perfect. They're all in the correct direction. All right, let's do this. I apparently forgot to toggle. Hey, look at that. Aerodynamics actually works. Beautiful. We are going to we're going to smack that floor. <laughs> I'm mostly fine though. Look at this. Incredibly durable. So that that's actually incredible. There's actual uh, aerodynamics just based on the panels that you build. And you know, even even though I'm failing terribly at building panels that make sense, he created a ballistic missile. I know, right? Uh, is there is there like a different different camera settings? Let's actually go back out of this for a sec. Uh, build mode. 
because I want the I want that toggle. There we go. Yeah. So why did I build this? It's, a, it's an excellent question. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Math uh, negate. Oh, oh, that's right. I could have also done that for uh, to invert the signal. I mean, same difference if I have uh, an input. What? What? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I need to keep spinning. Spinning is what stabilizes my flight. Or apparently rocking back and forth, too. These thrusters are crazy powerful. Alright. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, where'd my rocket go? Uh-oh. Okay, okay. I'm here. How do I save this? I'm supposed to save this, right? Save, save. Oh, I see. I see why I'm having trouble saving things all the time. This is not plain work in progress. Save as. There we go. We're going to save this as, um, I guess just spinning rocket. There we go. So now when I click new bot. There's the new bot. I'm finally learning the, the, the menu. Uh, and there's a uh, spinning rocket. We can load that in. There we go. Okay, I but the problem that I was having, the idiotic person that I am, I was like, this is a this is a new bot that I have built right here. So let's save as new bot. And then I go to save it, and then it just it starts a new it starts a new uh, bot for me, like completely deleting what I just had. So that's uh, that's something that you gotta watch out for. It's it's save and save at like, hmm. When you click new bot, it deletes what you have and starts a new bot for you. Edit, edit. <laughs> anyway, anyway, man. I am, like, really dumb when I first uh, play a game. It takes me... How long did it take me playing Scrap Mechanic before I actually knew what I was doing? It's a good question. I still I still don't know if I'm still... I, I don't know if I currently know what I'm doing. Also, Mike, on the, uh, on the voice call option, uh... I think that's something that's probably better planned before the live stream actually starts. Or uh, maybe we can do that sometime that's not in the middle of the live stream. I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of, it's hard it's hard to say um you know <laughs> I I I I don't know. It's hard to say. So I guess the point is then um I I'd love to take you up on that offer, but I, oops. But I think I only have, like, 20 minutes left for today, so. Yeah, for sure, I'll let you know. Um, I I, I kind of want to stream more and more of this, because, like, I, you know, as you can see, I'm kind of dumb when it comes to this game, so I, I want to learn more, get more into it. Okay. Let's take a look at what we have available. Friction pad. I have no idea what that... You know, um... Everyone wants to see a plane now. Right. There's one question that I actually have for you guys. What happened to... What happened to all of the, uh... The bots that were in here before? Like, all the test stuff that you had. Because in there, there was, um... There was the snake. Uh, there was the... There was the wheel. There was the tank. There was the spider. Which, by the way, I somehow have. Because I loaded it in, uh... In the middle of a tutorial. So yeah, what happened? What happened with all those uh, bots? 
this is this is definitely not the spider. <laughs> this is definitely not the spider. T spider load. That is not that is not T spider. Work in progress load. Yeah, that is also plain T spider. Plane 01. Beautiful. Plane work in progress. <laughs> Beautiful. Alright, let's delete those. New bot is also just a, a new bot. Yeah, so I don't know what happened. Durf cleaned up the list since they were built. In older iterations of the build system, they added bugs if you use them. Aww, are we gonna get the, are we gonna get those uh, default builds again, or okay? You know what? I I'm I'm curious about one thing. Let's um let's load in my spinning rocket. Can I radial menu? There we go. Delete, wire, separate. Huh. Lock? Um, let's go with... Let's go with the heaviest... Uh, material, I think. Steel? Oh, there we go. Double click. Double click to uh, select the whole thing. Oh, tint. Nope. I did not mean to do tint. Material, steel. I want it to be heavy, right? I'm, I'm gonna test. I'm trying to test weight. There we go. That's a big old steel. Looks all shiny too. Nice. Ah, uh, we'll just leave the fins as they are, because I'm lazy. All right. So then, does a steel rocket? Oh. <laughs> oh. All right. Well, there is one. Uh, there is one more question that I had for the developers. Which, by the way, thank you for uh, chilling with uh, with us during this live stream. But there is one question that I had for the developers. Actually, you know, I, I have uh, several questions for you guys, um, and uh, a list of suggestions too. Uh, but you know, I'll, I'll give you I'll give you that uh, separately on Discord. But the one question that I did have was, are we gonna have like a block that can add additional weight to the vehicle? Sort of like, oh, what the heck is this? Like these panels are just not lined up at all. Hold on, sorry guys. I think I just noticed something about the game. There's a movement. There's a there's a sound for movement in the game for the for the robot. Oh, I can't I can't crank up the volume anymore. So just listen very closely. It's very quiet. I don't even know if you can hear it. Yeah, even my system sounds all the way up, so, oh well. Either you hear it or you don't. But anyway, um, uh, the question, is there going to be, like, um... Drone has a cute hover noise, yeah. Um, my, my question is, uh, is there going to be, like, a block that we can just uh, add, like, a numerical value to, to increase weight and just decrease weight? That's actually something that people have requested for scrap mechanic mods for a long time. And every time I have to tell them... Uh, no, you just have to use the gimbal thruster and just thrust up or down. 
you know a positive or negative value and then pretend that that's adding weights to your uh, to your creation on demand so I, I you know i guess if you also have a gimbal thruster that can uh change power on demand like that too then that also works i don't know let's try uh let's try uh, another material maybe So, I don't know what neon is. Plexiglass, aeroplastic seems like it would be the lightest material. Right? Plastic, carbon fiber. Let's see what carbon fiber looks like. I'm really curious about that. Oh. Oh, the texture is kind of stretched on this panel. But hey, it looks pretty nice. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Um, let's try... Uh, let's try that aeroplastic. Holy moly, that looks very white and bright. And what's going on here? <laughs> what? What's going on here? I think that's just a visual glitch. Holy moly, we're going fast. So then this is probably the least durable material as well, right? I think this might have been the material that I was playing with earlier, because it, it seems to be the same, the same thing. Anyway, um... Let's try just uh, one more material. We're gonna explore some of these materials, but then I think that's just gonna be it for the stream. Uh, but if you guys don't know, the folks over at uh, Bad Yoke Games, they have a Discord, by the way. If you guys, uh, I don't know if I don't know if they have the capacity to paste links in my stream chat. So you know what? Bam! Now they're a moderator of my stream chat. So now they have the capacity to paste links. So anyway, uh, Bad Yoke Games. I don't know. I don't know who specifically is behind that account there right now. But if you want to po uh, paste a link to your Discord, uh, they have a contest right now, a competition. There's neon. Let's try the neon material. Properties neon. There we go. Holy moly. Okay, so it's a glowing material. Cool. That's very cool. I like that. I like that a lot, actually. Yeah, now I'm like an actual firework. Anyway, uh, so if you guys uh, want to head on over to the Bad Yo Games Discord, there is a contest, a competition. Uh, you guys can win a copy of the game if they... I, I don't know exactly the criteria for it. Uh, they're asking for ideas for customizations for the, for the drone. So let's go back to the main menu. Oh my god, we're still going. <laughs> we're still going. Alright, alright. So what they're asking for is, they're asking for suggestions. Oops, not this. They're asking for suggestions for this, uh, the drone right here. So if you go click head, you have a little customization options for your little robot here. Uh, they're asking for suggestions. So, I don't know if, um... Oh, they even added... You already added the Santa hat? Well, that was one of the suggestions that I was gonna <laughs> give you guys. They already added a flat cap, too. Wow. You guys are quick to add uh, new content to this. Anyway, they're, um, they're, they're looking for suggestions, and I'm not sure, like, if they use a suggestion, you're gonna win a free copy of the game or something like that. Hey! Is that my rocket? Just in the game? Why is that there? Why is my rocket here? <laughs> Why is my rocket in the main menu? I don't think that's supposed to be there. And then we got glasses. Just two glasses, that's it. A uh, little hammer, little hot dog, a scarf, swimming ring, camera, diploma, dummy feet. 
So yeah, one suggestion then, you know, or randomized, that's cool. So, <laughs> that's actually really funny. So, uh, one suggestion, like it's just a couple suggestions would be, um, it, it loads in my last creation. Oh, okay. I mean, that's definitely like halfway into the ground, but that's still pretty cool. Anyway, um, so like a couple of suggestions then would be, oh, oh, and also in the Discord, somebody else was also suggesting like uh, custom face textures. So like the LED face that you see on the robot, uh, it could have, like somebody did like a digital mustache instead. I mean, you could have actual facial hair. Hey Brent, how's it going? But yeah, I think uh, custom face textures could be another option in here somewhere. But yeah, um, you know, like, so instead of a cap, you could have, um, like, devil horns, angel halo. On the sides, you could have angel wings. On the bottom, you can have, instead of, uh, instead of feet, you can have, like, a, a, a tiny miniature body. <laughs> or, like, um, like it's a tiny body inside of a flying mechanism, like a Dr. Robotnik kind of flying vehicle. It's just a tiny body in that, but the neck is connected to a huge head. Or for glasses, you could have uh, 3D glasses. You know, like the red green, or I mean the red blue, the red blue. Or you could uh, literally just color uh, these pixels on one eye red, and then these pixels on this eye blue, and it'll look like 3D glasses enough anyway. There's like so many, there's so many suggestions that you could, you know, suggest. <laughs> That's what you do with suggestions. So yeah, hop onto their Discord. They put a link in the chat uh, somewhere. And uh, yeah, make sure you uh, bug the heck out of these devs for, you know, the special hat that you want to see. <laughs> now I'm just thinking back to the future. Yeah. But anyway, I, uh, I had a lot of fun testing this out today. I'm super glad that I checked out that tutorial, but I, 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 gotta, I gotta play a lot more of this sandbox to get comfortable. Whoops, I just quit the game. <laughs> oh yeah, I gotta, I gotta play a lot more to actually get comfortable with the building systems so that I'm a little bit more confident in what I'm doing. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna be it for today's live stream, folks. Yeah, um, I'm gonna start videos, videos, we're going to start the challenge mode because there's like uh, at least a few different stages or chapter. I don't know. Chapter, state, whatever. We're going to try the challenge mode coming up next in some videos, uh, probably starting Tuesday. So that's going to be it for today, folks. Thanks for chilling, and I'll see you tomorrow for Multiplayer Monday. Bye, everyone. Bye.